guys, and thanks for checking out another video on the Parakeet Perch. This one is on budgie breeding basics, and hopefully we'll be able to share some information with you that will help you along if you are trying to breed budgies. Now, the first thing that we will say is that breeding budgies is a pretty serious business. Although there are a lot of fun things that you can go through when you're breeding your birds, like watching eggs hatch and getting brand new baby birds and maybe keeping a bird for yourself, there are a lot of serious aspects to breeding budgies. So I would suggest before you do any kind of breeding that you do as much research as possible. Thank you for checking out this video. Hopefully it will get you started. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share some links with you for some other sites that have great information on budgie breeding. So read up, check internet sites, and learn as much as you can about breeding your budgies before you actually start that process. Once you've done all the research that you can about breeding budgies, of course you're going to want to get a pair or work with a pair that you already have. You have to have a male and a female, and how you can typically tell is by the color of their sears, which is the fleshy part around the bird's nostril. Here you have a picture of a male budgie, and as you can see, the sear on this budgie is blue. If you have a female, much like the one in this picture, the sear is going to be pink or brown and it may also be a crusty texture. So that's typically how you can tell. There are a few color patterns in budgies that have washed out colors. So if you have those, for instance, my birds are albino and lutino. Uh, so a lot of times those colors are washed out. You may have to tell behaviorally what gender your bird is. And then the bear also needs to be bonded. What that means is the female needs to accept the male as a partner. Budgie females can be picky about their partners. So if you've got a pair that's not bonded, you may actually have to introduce the female to another male with whom she wants to breed. Okay, now that you can tell the difference between male and female budgies, you'll want to make sure that you have an adequately sized cage to house your pair. The cage that I have, which you see behind me, is a Preview Hendrix, which is a wonderfully sized cage for a pair of budgies. It gives them plenty of room to move around and it also offers you enough space to put in all of the supplies that you're going to need for breeding. For instance, you'll want different sized perches so that the male can move around as he's trying to court the female. Here's the size of the Preview Hendrix and that might give you an idea of what dimensions you'll want to look for in a cage. Another thing you want to offer your breeding pair is an excellent diet. That includes things like seeds, a pelleted diet, fruits and vegetables, and also eggs. You can actually hard boil eggs for your budgies and give them the crushed up egg and some of the shell as it provides protein and calcium for them while they're breeding and feeding young. If you look on certain sites, you can also purchase what's called egg food, and that is a high quality food that will give your birds extra nutrition during the breeding phase. Another way of providing calcium for your birds is through a cuddle bone, and this is what the package looks like for those. And they look like this once they're out of the package and you kind of assemble them. And basically that will give your birds lots of extra calcium. That's good for them to have whether they're being bred or not, but it's particularly important if you've got a hen that's going to be laying eggs because if you don't provide enough calcium, they can actually become egg bound, which means they will not be able to pass their eggs and you have to seek veterinary treatment for your bird at that point. So make sure to provide plenty of calcium for your birds and you can also give them extra vitamins. There are water soluble vitamins that you can put in their water to give them extra nutrition as they're breeding and feeding baby birds. Another thing that you'll want to provide your breeding pair of course is a nest box. 
This is going to be a place for them to lay the eggs and care for their young. Now I do have a video on this channel on how to install this particular nest box if you're interested in viewing that. I suggest putting pine shavings inside of the nest box so that they do have some nesting material. Uh, it's actually not required and don't be alarmed if your hen actually removes those shavings. Some pairs do not like having extra stuff in the nest box and that's okay too. Uh, the thing that you'll want to make sure of is that your box at least has a concave area in the middle where the eggs will stay and not roll around. guys well that is it for budgie breeding basics again I'm going to leave you with a couple of websites at the end of this video that you can check for additional resources so make sure to take a look at those and thank you all so much for watching this video make sure to leave plenty of comments below like the video share the video and we will see you again soon at the parakeet perch